Today I'm in Waterloo, Ontario to meet with ASI, Accelerated Systems. ASI has been a leading e-bike controller company and we are working with them to bring advanced e-bikes to the market. So we, today we will learn about e-bike controllers and some of the advanced R&D that is happening here. So let's take a tour. Hey guys, today is an exciting day here. Uh, we are visiting Accelerated Systems in Waterloo. I'm with Mr. Bill, who is the CEO of ASI. Mr. Bill, thanks a lot for taking the time today. And today we are going to have a quick tour of the facility before we sit down with one of the technical managers, Mr. Martin, and discuss about e-bike controllers. Um, Mr. Bill, um, again, a pleasure. Um, can you share a bit about your involvement with ASI and yeah. you know, how long you've been with ASI? First of all, we'll get my name. It's Bill Jager. And um, I've uh, basically bought ASI um, effectively out of a, uh, from the shell, it was a failed company when we got involved. There was very few employees, losing a lot of money. And uh, today it's, it's, uh, it went from maybe a dozen employees, we're up to 70 employees right now. And we're involved in two major electrification industries. We're involved in e-bikes, which is a big part of roughly half of our business. And we're involved in e-mobility, which is um, and outdoor power equipment, specifically outdoor power equipment. That's the other, other side of, of our business. And so we build uh, electric transmissions, we build controllers, we build vehicle control modules. This is an example of a, of a lawnmower, basically, where you have two drives, a commercial lawnmower, and you have three deck motors, and, you have two con and these deck motors have their controllers actually built inside of them. So this is this where is, we started. This is like a well-kept secret because we don't, we don't hear a lot about mm -hmm. the, uh, the research that's going on here, but there's a lot of really good, um, great research going on here in terms of motor controllers, uh, batteries, and then even drive systems for advanced application. Right, right. We're vertically integrated. So we build, the, we build the motors, we design the motors, we build the controllers for them, um, we do the vehicle control modules, we do the battery control systems, the battery balancing systems when you have swappable packs. Uh, and we've never met people um, who understand the chemistry. That's been, always been a weakness for us is we just bought cells from Chinese battery manufacturers that made it for e-bikes. We had yeah. no idea if what we were buying was good or bad. So obviously we're an e-bike business, you can see lots of e-bikes around it. I'll take you guys for a little tour. Sure. This is our application engineering support. So when a customer needs to have a specific um, solution for problems, then these guys here get involved. Um, our software team lives in this part of the building here. Here's an example of a, um, of a traction system that we built for, for golf cars. So this is a lift kit to lift golf cars. And this is a four wheel drive system. So this would be the front of the golf car. Wow. So if you wanted to take your golf car and make it a four-wheel drive version mm -hmm. and lift it up a little so you put bigger tires under it, this is, this is the system that you'd buy. We've, we're just introducing it right now. Wow. There's nothing on the market like it because we only add about 40 pounds to the weight of the golf car. And, uh, and it can and it, dramatically change. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it particularly is about, it's about a quarter of a million golf cars coming off of golf courses every year in North America. Wow. And everybody puts bigger tires on them, gives them more power. So with this system, we rate it up to about 25 miles an hour. So for hunting buggies and things, and people will buy it and they will re, basically rebuild the golf car. Golf cars are bimodal. They spend the first three or four years of their life on golf courses, carry around golf clubs, and the second half of their life is spent who knows where. So. So we do all of our, this is where our hardware team sits, back in this corner. So all of the boards and components will be made here. You'll see task equipment everywhere. You can trip over it here if you like. Um, so there'll be, here's some examples of boards that we've we put together. So these are for? Um... Those are vehicle control modules. Oh, I see. For golf cars. I see. So these, these control the four-wheel drive. And everything is designed in-house. Yeah, we do everything. everything and even the prototyping is done in-house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We build all the prototypes here. Um, we see um, some battery packs here. Right. So we bought um, battery packs. We've contracted a Chinese manufacturer that builds e-bike batteries to populate them. But the idea here is 
to have a form factor that replaces lead acid batteries. It could be golf carts, it could be any kind of equipment. So we can put two of those into where a lead acid battery goes. And for, the, for golf carts, it's dramatic. A golf cart typically goes 35 miles and with eight, six, six eight volt batteries. We can put in 12 of these. Each of wow. these will give us about 100, about 15 miles range. Yeah. So we can sell range instead of, right. You know, so it first wants to put one in there. Right. As long as there's not, as long as there's not enough uh, power available, right. they can drive it. So for the people that are living, uh, that have a gated communities, or, or that are, are, are um, uh, you know, have small properties and farms, they don't need to go 30, 40 miles. Correct. But the hunter. Who has, right. who, who's going down lumber roads, right. he wants to populate his entire car. That will give him 150 mile plus range. He doesn't need range anxiety, because right. he's stuck. He's 50 miles away. Yeah, ATVs. Yeah, uh, ATVs. And they're super quiet. So they don't scare, well, they don't know, recently, scare away the wildlife. Yeah, you know, recently we have seen electric boats, electric um, uh, you know, um, yeah. uh, skidoos. Yes. It's amazing what's happening. Yeah, there's a revolution there. So. The ability for us to custom, because we do custom controllers for all of these applications, the uh, opportunity for us to, to hook up with a battery manufacturer that yeah. can create some real range. The current, currently, the people who are manufacturing golf cart batteries, it's it's a seven kilowatt hour battery. It's it's a hundred amp hour, seventy two volt one. That's the biggest one they have. Lead and, acid. Sometimes they use lead acid. Yeah, uh, it's heavy. Some guys go back to nickel metal hydride. So, we designed the motors here. We uh, then we'll build some for tests. This one has has a controller that's that's integrated that we built in house. So what happens? We'll assemble the first few hundred here ourselves. Often, come on in. Often, what we'll do is we'll, as we're building things and testing things here, we have 3D printers like, yeah, like everybody does. So when we, but we have more than that. We actually have machine tools in in the back that we can make everything that we need to. We see some Suron bikes and... Uh... Yeah, we do... Uh, our, our controllers right now are an aftermarket part for a Suron bike. Right. And we also do... We have a, an, art, an, an AI department here where we do autonomous vehicles. And what we, what we focus on is V-SLAM. We're trying to mimic what, 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 the human, what the human does. The human doesn't have ultrasonic sensors or microwave sensors, although we do. We have a product that we just... Uh, come to market for, for e-bikes. And what it does is it, it has optical, um, has, has a camera, but it also has a radar chip in there. So when it sees a car and identifies it as a car or a truck, then it will, will ping it with, with the radar I see. and it will calculate time of flight. So we'll figure out is it dangerous or not. So is it similar to the Tesla autonomous system? This is, yeah. This, is, this one is very similar to, to that. We, we rely heavily on the two cameras here. Oh wow! And our our neural net engines is in the back here, and so what happens with this guy here is you, the idea here is that you drive around a rectangle. Yeah. And when you come back, you mm -hmm. jump off off the machine, you tell it, show me the rectangle. Yeah. If it guesses correctly. Yeah. Or knows correctly, then it will calculate a route and it will, it will mow inside inside of that. So this this thing can mow lawn, this thing can mow your backyard without you on it. Wow. I'll show you a video later on. And we we deal with other large large companies as well. See where the skunk works for a lot of these people. All of our um, our motors are tested on the um, on one of our dynos. Go ahead, sit down. So one of our our motor test setup. This is a power analyzer so we know how efficient the motor is running, where the losses are. And, then that's, uh, and we have a higher powered one and a, a faster dyno here as well. Oh, these are all dynos? Yeah, these, these are all dynos, these are all testing stations. We designed these things, this is a testing, so these things will have two transmissions running back to back. And the one, one will be the load and one will be the... And then we'll see, then we'll do, we do accelerated light testing here. Like everything was built, all this technology and technical know-how was built right here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we do. And then when we build prototypes, we have our own machine tools here. This is a prototype that we're doing for a company that has a, a single a single drive in the back, 
and we're using we're just using our batteries here uh -huh. as, as an example so th these are not in production but this allows this thing to be positioned at a home hardware or a home depot or a lowe's with one battery to mow an acre right but the guy who wants to own, have four acres he's got to buy the rest of the batteries and he can he can, he can have the rest and, and bill the thing is if yeah. you have four batteries that's already close to eight kilowatt hours yeah yeah, that's, that's a substantial amount of energy. Oh, you can, but for some guys want to mow five acres. That's why they buy a riding mower. Right. And right. we have a lot of zero turn radius mowers too. So the the um, we have uh, there's a Toro up there, and this this one is just coming here. This one is a uh, a prototype with a. This one has a five kilowatt hour battery pack. Okay. In in here, and all the parts are parts that we've that we've designed. All the the, the, not the battery, the battery is a Vanguard battery, but the uh, the drive system and the controls are all ours. So they've assembled it for us, now they're sending it back here for testing. And even that golf cart, I think, has your own drive yeah. system. Yeah. Yeah, that has, uh, and yes, that's it. This is where we, we make our parts. So we're, we were. It's a full scale machine shop here. Yep. Returning. Well, I can't afford to wait for two weeks for parts. Yeah. I mean, I had maybe two hours, and then we can build apart. This this uh, golf cart has our system in it. So a, a cart like this goes 40 miles an hour and can go 70 or, or, or 80 miles or 100 miles on the charge, depending on how many battery modules that we put right, in. Right, right. Pretty amazing. We have a lot of IT so here. So is that one of your client's club car? No, nope. this is one of ours. So what we're doing there is one of our uh, what well, company that wants to do business with us wants us to design controllers. They're in the business of making batteries, so they uh, they send us one of one of their batteries. But this one is very limited about what it can do. So a, the solution that we're proposing to them is is more of a modular system like you and I are talking about. So this is huge, like almost seven kilowatt hours. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, but, but think about it. If we, if we could put, if you could put two kilowatt hours in that package, yeah, and they were putting twelve of those packages, and you got. You got 24 kilowatt hours in the golf car. That's you don't right. Think of you can go. That's, and this is the most as you can get. This is you, you can't get any more than this. Yes, yeah, so that's 7 kilowatt hours, but you can almost double the the range with the, with the other packs that you were showing. Yeah, yeah, or triple. We get 20. We get 24 kilowatt hours, so that's more than triple. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot of opportunities here, and, and particularly your 5,000 cycles. That's really that's really meaningful to us because now batteries become an asset. Exactly. And you can keep them for 20 years. Exactly. That's the whole idea is batteries become an asset. In fact, the most expensive component is always the battery. Yeah. Always, yeah. Yeah, and so that's why you don't want to sell somebody more battery than what they need. Correct. And Correct. then you can, and the problem is, is, is um, our, one of our first customers was, was MTD. They've recently been purchased by Stanley Black & Decker. They wanted to put on um, like five or six kilowatt hours of batteries. Well, at their price, it's the Samsung SD, S, SDI. SDI yeah. And that price, suddenly you add $5,000 to, to the cost. Right. So you're looking at a gasoline uh, mower yeah. for $3,000, yeah. and theirs is like 10,000. Right. Well, I'm saying no, make the gasoline 3,000 and make ours 3,500. Right. Now they'll sell. Right. And of the two million a year that sell, you get some market share. You right. won't if you try to charge ten thousand dollars for it. Absolutely. You'll, you'll get a few early adopters. Correct. And this this kind of mistake happened in the e-bike industry, where some companies were priced so out of range that you know you, we have to serve the market ultimately. Mm. Right. I, that's right. And your volume is always. I've been in the consumer products for years. Before I started this company, I was in the consumer products business, and we would sell products to Home Depot and Lowe's and that. And by Cutting the price by 10 or 20%, you could quadruple your sales. Correct. Depending on where you're positioned. Correct. So I think that's, I think we're out. Thank you. I got to run to another meeting. So. Thanks a lot.